what I want to do in this short video is talk about how to calibrate the uh, controller on the VEX IQ um, second generation brain and second generation controller. Something that commonly happens is that the motors kind of go haywire. They don't stop spinning on their own when uh, you're done driving and the motors keep going or they're erratic, etc. And usually what that means is you need to calibrate your controller. Usually what I tell my students actually is to calibrate at the beginning of each day. So the first thing you do is turn the robot on and calibrate the controller. Um, another possible thing, if um, your motors are kind of going haywire and they're not stopping when you're done driving or they're not, um, you know, uh, they're, they're, they're not responding to controls exactly right, is check your battery. And check your battery, just look at the battery. Hit there. If you get two uh, LED lights or below, change that battery out, see if that fixes it. Sometimes it does, okay? But uh, any, anything two or below, you need to switch out the battery. But close to 100% of the time, calibrating the controller is what you need to do. So let's talk about how to do that. What you're going to do is go to your home menu. So I'm going to click the X button a few times, make sure I'm at the home menu. And then I'm going to scroll to the right until I get to settings. And there it is. It's, it's the wrench right there. Okay, that's the wrench. I'm going to click the check mark. Now what I'm going to do, I think it's the third option. Yeah, right there it is, calibrate. This one looks like a controller, okay? So once again, real quick, let me go back home. All you got to do, make sure you hit the home menu, scroll all the way to the right. It's the very last menu option. It's settings. It's the wrench. Press check mark. And then once again, scroll all the way until you see the controller. And the word calibrate there. Click it. So now it tells you what to do. All you're going to do is you're going to spin your joysticks around, both of them. Spin them all the way around a few times. Okay. And then it's going to turn green. Then it tells you what buttons to press. So I'm going to, I don't know if you can see that, it's flashing blue there. So I'm going to press that button and we're good to go now. That's all there is to it. It's really simple, really fast. And um, I train all my kids that if their robot is driving on its own, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're controlling it and then you stop and the motors keep spinning slowly, doing weird stuff, calibrate that controller. And if that doesn't work, take a look at the battery, or, or take a look at the battery first. If, if you're down two LEDs, um, swap out that battery, and then calibrate the controller. All right. Once again, if you've got any questions, just stick them in the um, comment section below. Thanks a lot.